so we're here. Competition day. Just warming up. I got a uh, 185 on the bar right now, just warming up. Uh, had, when I got here, they said 20 people dropped out of the meet, so it's gonna be a small meet. It was supposed to be a 45 different meet, but it's only 20, so it's a small meet. I'm gonna make the most of it, have fun, compete, go out here, go hard. Uh, woke up feeling good this morning ready to get it over with. Well, not get it over with, but I'm ready to get started. So, just warming up right here. I go by Mo.
You got it. Just got done with bench. Bench went excellent. Bench went excellent. I uh, I, op I played with some. I opened up with two six, 264 pounds. It went smooth, three white lights. Then I went 275. It went smooth, three white lights. Then I'm trying to shoot. It goes 303. And uh, and then go and then move. So we still got work to do to cross that 300 club. You know. Still got work to do, but overall, so far, meat going pretty good. Uh, about to start deadlifts now. Refueling, getting this bagel in me. I'm loving the energy here, man. Loving the energy. I'm loving power lifting. Yeah, so about to refuel. Get ready to make deadlifts, baby. You got this. going on YouTube so we back it's Monday Monday after the meet July 13th meet was July 11th so just wanted to recap the whole weekend I guess the whole video the vlog I'm gonna end this vlog here so it's Monday I'm actually on the way to the gym now just got a little pre-workout little pre-workout snack cinnamon covered donut uh, so yeah man the competition for my first competition, it definitely went well. Uh, I went six out of nine on all my lifts. I had, I missed a lift in each, in each uh, attempt. I missed one lift in squat, one lift in bench, and one lift in deadlift. And de bench and deadlift, I missed a lift because I just, I just shot for it, went for something. Uh, that I knew could, I could possibly get up, but I wasn't sure. They would have both been PRs had I gotten them up, so. But, 
going into after this meet and you know going into my second meet i'm gonna definitely play the numbers game more make sure i get all three attempts in each lift on the board uh but i did finish with a class one total um i finished with a class one total which qualifies me for a national competition so meaning even if i didn't win first place in my class I would have still qualified for a, a national competition. So the first place in my class was just the, uh, was like the icing on the cake. So, uh, but yeah, man, so starting a 16 week prep over again, I could possibly be competing again in November, as soon as November, because I do want to take some time to, you know, uh, put up some better numbers. Like I want to, have a whole a real another deep even better prep to put up even better numbers uh going forward especially stepping into a national competition now um the competition is gonna get more stiff even better there's gonna be some strong guys there and so i gotta make sure that i fall right in that bunch and you know lead the pack it's like it's the business i'm going in like going to put on a, a good performance and compete put up solid numbers even better numbers uh and i got my eye i got my eyeball set on state records and squat and bench they are in striking distance for me right now uh so yeah that's one thing i'm focusing on right now getting that south carolina state record and squat bench i got a little work to put in to hit that deadlift uh record I think it was, I think it's at 617 in my weight class right now. Something like that. 617, 618, something like that. Uh, so, yeah, I got a little work to get there. But squat and bench are definitely in striking distance. Uh, so, definitely looking forward to that. I got, uh, starting the week off today, I got squat and deadlift. For the next four weeks, next four weeks it's all volume. So, it's nothing heavy at all just a lot of volume, a lot of reps. Um, I don't even think I go over 60% of my one rep max uh, these next these next four weeks. Uh, these next four weeks are really about, uh, really kind of like a, I, I consider it like an active recovery. Uh, just, it's all lightweight, giving my body a rest from a maximum, maximal effort. Um, so I won't be working up to no top sets or nothing, just going in and hitting my sets. Um, like I, today I got squat at a 40% one rep max, which is like, I think, uh, 175 for me. And then deadlift, I got a five by five at 60%, which is like 365, I think. So yeah, the next four weeks going to be super light. So I'm going to focus on form, form most importantly, especially on squat. I got to make sure I'm hitting my squat depth consistently on each lift. Because that's why I missed my first squat in competition at 407 pounds. Uh, they called me for my depth. So this next prep, I'm definitely putting a lot of focus on squat, my squat depth. So yeah, man. So I'm gonna close out this video right here. Uh, I'm gonna get workout vlogs and going now, going into uh, going into this next meet. I'm gonna get uh, weekly workout vlogs and. Um, now that I'm a little more comfortable, uh, know what I'm doing. I got that first meet out the way. That first meet, the whole prep, I was really just trying to focus. But I'm, I'm still keeping that same focus. But, you know, I'm going to definitely get some content out there. This YouTube content. Uh, so, yeah, man. <sighs> Take this journey with me, baby. First place in my very first powerlifting show, boy. That feels good. That feels real good. Um, but, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, as for as you guys wish me luck, my next meet and upcoming meets and the future, everything. As you guys follow me on this journey, so like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Rock out with your boy. We got new goals we chasing, and uh, we ain't slowing up, baby. Chestnut chuckers, baby. Let's get it. <laughs>